Hey guys, another video from Vile Impression here, and this time we're going to be going through print preparation for mural artwork. The first thing we need to do is choose an image. Let's say I really want to have this one across one wall in my reception. We need to check the size of this image to make sure it is high enough quality to print on a big scale. If you are working on a Mac, open it up in preview, and then click on the tools menu and select show inspector. The information you are looking for will be under the general info tab. On a PC you can find this under file and properties. So what we are looking for is the DPI which stands for dots per inch, essentially the pixels per inch. This needs to be at least 300. We can see here that this image has a DPI of 300. Perfect. So open up Photoshop and either drag the file in or click open and select the file. The next thing we need to do is know how big our wall is. So I have a wall that is 4.5 meters, 450 centimeters, by 240 centimeters. To ensure that when your mural is produced, there are no white lines around the edge of the image, we will need to allow an extra 5 centimeters on each edge, increasing the width and height by 10 centimeters. So our new measurements are 460 centimeters by 250 centimeters. Now to save on processing power and for a minimized file size, we're going to reduce the image to 50%, halving it. So our new image now wants to be 230 centimeters by 125 centimeters. So let's crop the image to these dimensions. Press C to select the crop function, and up in these dimension boxes here, let's type our measurements: 230 by 125. We now need to choose what portion of the image we will see by clicking and dragging the image. OK, so I'm happy with this image. The next thing is to get the image to the size we want. So if we go into the image menu and select image size, this box opens. We can see our width, height and resolution here. You want to make sure that all three of these boxes are checked and select by cubic smoother. Then we want to put in our width and height measurements. 230 by 125 centimeters. Click OK and you'll see your new image will render. If you want to, you can zoom in to 100% to see the resolution close up. If you wanted to add your logo to this, you would need a vectored logo, like this one I have in Illustrator. Simply copy and paste this into Photoshop. Make sure you select Smart Object when pasting. Then scale and position your logo. You can do the same with any vector text as well. One thing to note is you should make sure any text, logos or important information are inside the outside 10 centimeters of each edge. This is to make sure that they are not trimmed off when the mural is cut to size. Now that you have your whole mural at 50% and you're happy with it, we need to save it. So go to File, Save As, then select JPEG from the file types. Then you need to name the file. You should name it your name, so vinyl impression, at 50%. Click OK. Then in this box, drag the quality up so it's at maximum and click baseline standard. Then OK. This is now saved and ready for you to send to us. You'll need to send us an email letting us know what size your wall is. We should also be able to see when we scale up your mural that it has the bleed included, so it should have an extra 10 centimeters on the width and the height. And that's all there is to it really. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at hello at vinylimpression.co.uk. We look forward to working with you. So that's all for now, but be sure to check back for more videos soon. And be sure to take a look at all our other content at vinylimpression.co.uk. Thanks guys.